Welcome to Open Dental's Ortho Claims webinar. In this webinar, we'll be discussing insurance options for ortho claims, the auto ortho tab in the account module, the ortho auto claims tool, how to receive ortho insurance claims, and we'll also discuss payment plans for orthodontic procedures. Let's start with our insurance options for ortho. If you have selected in your setup an ortho, this first preference to show auto ortho in the count module, as I have, in your insurance plan itself, you will have an ortho tab. So we'll click on that ortho tab. And here we can customize how the carrier would like to process ortho claims. First, we have our ortho claim type. We have three options here that the carrier can choose. The first is initial claim only. Uh, with this setting, the insurance will only require one claim and they'll either pay in full in a lump sum or they'll send payment to the office periodically on their own schedule. The second option is initial plus visit. This option would require an orthodontic claim be sent for the original procedure as well as for each subsequent visit. And then our final option is initial plus periodic. With this ortho claim type selection, we will send an, a claim for the initial procedure and then send a claim periodically at a regular interval for a certain fee. For our example, we're going to choose the initial plus periodic. <clears throat> the next field is our ortho auto proc, again, as defined in our ortho setup. When we create a claim using our auto ortho claims tool, we'll be using this code. This is our default. It can be changed to any other code by using this ellipsis button. We can click that to pull up your procedure list and you can use any other code that you uh, would like. However, we're going to stick with our default. As a reminder, only the first five digits of this procedure code will be sent on the claim to insurance. This dot auto is really for internal tracking so that we can identify how this claim was created, how this procedure was entered. And then we have our ortho auto fee. Since we recommend that their ortho auto proc be a $0 procedure, we can tell the system to bill the insurance a specific fee. For our example, we'll just use $250. This may a figure that your insurance carrier may help you determine. And then how frequently will, be, will we be sending those periodic claims? We have options to send those claims periodically, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. We'll use monthly for our example. And then there's also the option to wait 30 days before creating the first automatic claim. In addition to having your uh, ortho claim information set up here, you'll want to make sure that your ortho um, benefits are also populated. So by double clicking on the benefit information, I can see that we've entered a $2,000 lifetime max covered at 50% through age 60. So this plan has all the information required now to build orthodontic procedures. So let's move on to the account module and the auto ortho tab. So you'll notice that we have this new tab now in the account module. It's right next to your patient account, which is what you are used to looking at. The information in this window is largely in, um, informational, but you can still customize this on a case by case basis. What we're looking at here is our insurance information. This will list for primary and secondary, if there is secondary on the account. In our case, we have only primary. It will show us our claim type of initial plus periodic, as selected from our insurance plan. The following fields may also show. With our initial plus periodic, we will see all of these. Monthly is the frequency at which we will be billing periodically at a fee of $250.
Currently, we don't have any other claims previously sent, but our next periodic claim is set to be generated on 7-1 of this year. We can double click anywhere in the primary insurance info to bring up your ortho patient setup. And in here, we can adjust the next claim date as needed. And we can also change the fee by unchecking the use default fee. We can change the fee to be allowed here. The next section is patient ortho info. This will display the patient's orthodontic information once the initial orthodontic procedure has been completed. So we'll see total treatment, treatment time. In our case, uh, it's one month. This will show in month and, months and days. Our date start is the day that we set complete our original orthodontic procedure. Our total month's treatment is our expected duration of treatment. Months in treatment is how long this patient has been in treatment, and then this patient now has 23 months remaining. We can also do overrides in this window. So we can do an override on the ortho placement date just by keying in a different date in this field. We'll enter the day after 6-17-2021 and click override. And that will change the date start and it also changes the counter for total treatment time. You can also customize the total months in treatment. So let's say for our example, Tracy, she will only need to be in ortho treatment for 18 months total rather than 24. We can enter that here and click override. So for our offices that would be billing claims to insurance using the initial plus periodic ortho claim type, like we have for our example, you can generate periodic ortho claims using the ortho auto claims tool on or around the first of each month. You can just click onto tools ortho auto claims and see which periodic claims are due to be sent. Claims that are due to be generated will list alphabetically by last name. The criteria this tool is looking for are patients whose insurance ortho claim type is set to initial plus periodic. The initial ortho treatment procedure has been completed and the next claim date is today or sometime prior to today. So this is why we're seeing Tracy Thompson on our list. Her initial ortho procedure has been set complete. Her claim type is initial plus periodic and her next claim date was on 7-1-21. You can see some other information on each patient's ortho treatment and claim information in this window such as treatment months, this is the expected number of months the patient will be in treatment. Our banding date in the next column. Months remaining in treatment. Number of claims already sent. The date the last claim was sent. And the date the next claim should be sent. When clinics are turned on, you can also filter claims by clinic using the clinic dropdown. In our case, we're looking at clin Clinic A. From here, we've got the ability to generate claims. So we can select an individual claim, or if there are many, you can click Select All to select all claims here, and then click Generate. Confirmation message will show. Are you sure you want to generate these claims? We can click yes through that and then we'll get another message stating how many claims were generated and that clears our list. After you refresh the account module you will now see our procedure D867.0 or dot auto rather and our um, auto claim. You'll note that our procedure is set complete with a $0 fee. However, our claim is set to send the amount of $250 to insurance. From here, you can either send the claim immediately, just by opening the claim, 
and clicking your print or send button. Or if you have many claims that were generated by the tool, I would recommend that you send them from the manage module and send claims window for the correct clinic. So here's our claim for our current patient and clinic. So we can select many claims from here and click send eClaims. So let's move on to entering ortho claim payments. Open Dental recommends that you enter all insurance payments for a patient's ortho treatment on the claim for the initial date of placement. That will be this claim for our example. When entering initial payment, you would enter the payment as normal. In our case, we'll click by procedure, say insurance is only paying $500 this round, and finalize as normal. For insurance payments received um, from a claim generated using the auto ortho tool, or even just received over time automatically from the carrier, we would recommend entering that payment as a supplemental payment on the initial claim, rather than on this claim generated using the auto ortho claims tool. With the setting consolidate ortho insurance payments selected in the ortho setup window, you can require that all users enter your, their additional payments on that initial claim. So if a user were to attempt to enter payment on this claim generated by the ortho auto claims tool, they'll receive a message that tells them the preference to consolidate ortho payments has been selected. And then we'll ask if you'd like to open the claim for the original banding procedure. We can say yes to that. And it will immediately open that original claim and start our supplemental payment for us. So then we can add our supplemental payment. Let's say it's $100 this time. And finalize as normal. The benefit to adding all of your claim payments to our initial claim is that now we can see exactly where we are as far as benefits usage and we can also see our uh, stack of checks developing here. You can find a link to additional resources for entering insurance payments in the description below. And then finally that brings us to payment plans. Another feature that Open Dental has that can help manage large balances that ortho treatment can incur is payment plans. Open Dental has both patient payment plans for managing large patient portion, as well as insurance payment plans for tracking remaining insurance estimates. See the links below for additional webinars relating to Open Dental's orthodontic features, as well as payment plans. This concludes our webinar for ortho claims. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.